Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about the, the shakiness. Oh God, this is a bit shaky. Hopefully that doesn't go through the rest of the thing, but we're back. We're going to be working on the Bonneville a little bit. Let's, hell yeah. Uh, Dude, just, how much crack have you smoked? Your hand's shaking like hell. Just stabilize it. You know, this actually, I can't flip it back now. Jesus. Our GoPro is like dead as fuck. So, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. The GoPro is dead as heck. And um, I have to use my iPhone right now. So we're going to be working on the Bonneville right over there. Hopefully the exposure. There we go. It's right there. But we got something pretty cool. Yeah, we got a Pro Sport fleet here. So these are all really nice uh, dial series. You can see right there, those look so good. Um, we got Wait, AFR gauge. they did gauge. not send me an Evo, did they? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we got it. We have the AFR. Like... What, what are the other ones? We have intake air temp, and then we also have uh, uh, transmission. Boost. Oh, boost gauge. Yeah, boost gauge. And yeah, and uh, I don't know which one. It must be this one. Yeah, this guy. It's got the intercooler temp. It's got before and after intercooler temps, so that's really cool. We already um, we already put one of the IAT sensors in the back of the lower intake manifold. Yeah. We showed that in Drilled the previous in, video. Drilled and tapped it. Uh, you can kind of see the connectors right down there just sitting. So we're probably going to tap this guy would be a good idea. Yeah. Just right in here. Uh, it's actually already got an air sensor. I wonder if we could like maybe piggyback off that or anything. Doubt it. But uh, just Or just put a new one in there too. And uh, yeah, but we're probably only going to be hooking up this today, maybe. The we'll AFR see. gauge, yeah, that's and probably the most, the, the one we're going to hook up first. And we want to go Boost driving. gauge could also get hooked up. We just need to take it off a tee of one of these vacuum lines. Yep. And, uh, but yeah, we really want to go driving with the, uh, the AFR in and see what it, what it does. And unfortunately, we don't have all the provisions to hook it up to HP tuners yet. We're or HP. We're, work, we're working on that right now. We also don't have HP because he didn't bring it. Well, he wasn't told to. Just saying. Tristan just messaged Vince. He's like, hey, come over. Yeah, literally, I got one message last night saying, hey, show up to Davis's tomorrow. I was like, All right, okay. Yeah, either way, we're just hooking up this one today. Uh, if you are interested in, you know, install videos on all of these, I will link all of them. I've done tons of videos for Pro Sport installing AFR gauge, oil pressure gauge, intake air temp gauge. Uh, it's one I'm missing for sure. I have four gauges total. You got oil temp. Uh, right. I don't, I don't have oil temp. Oh, I have oil temp, oil AFR. Pressure. Yeah. Boost. Boost is the last oh, one. Boost. Yep. So, uh, link those down in the description. You can also use code jury rig for 10% off any That's pro sport. Yeah. You saved lots of money on all these gauges. This is like, I don't know, probably like $400 worth of gauges. Almost 500 yeah. without the, without the code. It's almost 500. Cause these are, these gauges. The AFR this, was super expensive. Yeah. Yeah. This was just 220 bucks alone. But apparently this style is one of their more expensive styles. Yeah. I had the I digital. Like the they also have the digital series, which I'm not going to be able to get a great view of this, but Oh, my Mustang's so dirty. I shouldn't even show this. Oh, God. I have the digital one. And I would recommend that. It's much, that. much uh, cheaper. I would recommend that if you're going on a budget. I kind of, I just wanted the gauges I liked because but if I'm going to look at them. The the digital are cheap uh, or cheaper in price. I, cheaper. I actually like them because they're easier to read. But these, you can't argue. These dial gauges, these are look, these look so nice. Yeah, I really want, I what I wanted. They light up. You can change the color. It actually has a digital. I didn't even see that. There's actually a digital number on yeah, there. Yeah. And the dial. Yeah. That's that's exactly what I wanted, and the only dials that really did that from Pro Sport were like the Evo on here, and I don't like that look. I think that looks kind of garbage. The the that, bar, that it's exact, very JDM. Yeah, it is exactly JDM, and so I wanted that, and well, I had to pay a lot for it, so I think it's worth it. Also, uh, this sensor, uh, this one in, in in particular was pretty expensive too. The in and out, yeah. Yeah, it was. So, but and, uh, yeah, we're gonna be showing me installing that today and i think that's all we're really gonna make a video on today yeah it, it is super is hot super also hot. you might you might not see it but it's very hazy out we got fires in the area and uh at least in air quality is not great no it's all over washington oh shit yeah, washington's on fire washington's now? on fire yep great oregon's on fire it's really sad that all our forests are burning in the last like three years yep we didn't but, need them it's fine yeah oh yeah well, yeah, we'll get on to that, and I think I'll take you guys underneath the car yeah, and uh, basically, show you. Yeah, basically, uh, when we did V2 of the, the Bonneville rebuild, I had welded on uh, an extra O2 bung on the downpipe. So we already had the provisions for that. We just had to take the plug out and then just thread in our uh, our gauge, or sorry, our sensor, wherever that is. Sensor's and, down here for, with me. Yep. Yeah, if you want to take it down there, here you go. Yeah, let me, yeah. It's kind of tight back under here still. Uh, uh, oh, there we go, right there. So let's see if that's still hot. Nope, not hot. Oh, wow. 
Okay, well, that was, that's good. Very tight, as you can see, with me getting it off with my hand. Oh, good. Oh. These headers and this downpipe is just so disgusting from, like, the paint we put in it. It's terrible. Oh. Get, get out of here. This is really difficult to do with one hand because it wants to spin. Well, you know what? I will come back with <laughs> with that being tightened. But, yeah, super easy where Davis put it. I'm glad he put it on that side. He was thinking. All right, guys, we are under the Bonneville. You can see how great the header paint is. And you can see my welds right there. It actually held water. It looks pretty decent. But anyways, there's the new O2, or sorry, wide band AFR gauge. It's gonna come over here through the frame rail and then over the frame rail there. We just don't want it touching the exhaust. And then uh, that's gonna be a really tight view, but right over here is a uh, grommet. So right there, we're just gonna zip tie it up and around so it's not touching the exhaust anywhere and uh, just get the zip tied up into the cabin. All right, guys, so uh, we got this all just gently wired up. We have a fuse tap for the power on and then we have it grounded where some other grounds are have it in the controller and then we showed you under the car where the sensor comes up obviously all this is going to get shortened and you know or just tucked away uh, we could just zip tie it away tur turns out the uh gauge pod holder tristan got actually isn't the right size unfortunately so we're not going to hard set it up yet it did come with uh this so we might just put some sticky tape up so you can you yeah know, put it on the dash for now so we can go on a test drive real fast and see how it goes but uh let's go get a fire up and see if it works turn the key on just so we can see that the gauge comes on first you hold that yeah there it goes. You saw All that right. flash. Go ahead and run it. There it goes. It'll take a, a little bit to calibrate. But I really like the look of the, the gauge. It, it, yeah. it looks pretty cool. For sure. Yeah, right there. So it's running a bit rich at 12. This has not been tuned yet. That's why we're getting this installed so Tristan can get some data logs. And uh, what does that do? That changes the color. Oh, nice. So you can go red, you can go blue. I like red. Oh, there we go. It's it, kinda, it doesn't it's light up better. Oh, you know, yeah, it takes a little bit. Now it's at 14. 15 is kind of getting a little bit lean. It's probably going to even out. It's 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 right now targeting. Yeah, there we go. 14. Yep, 14 percent. Nice. Oh, look at that. It lights up. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. So it'd be dark. Yeah. This is the first time me seeing it, but like, and it's in the sun, so I didn't actually notice that. That's so cool. Yep. And then. Oh, that's lame. It doesn't. It doesn't change that red with the color. It just changes the numbers that aren't lit yeah, up. Yeah, but this uh, orange wire off of that right there, uh, that you oh can. Shit. You're tripping, boy. I'm tripping. You can hook it up to your lights or whatever, and you can change the color with the dial. That's dope. Yeah, that'd be cool. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of just tidy this up, and then probably, probably go ahead and uh, take it on a quick test drive and uh, see how it runs. Tristan just did the thing. He took the plastic off. Shit. The gauge, you can see it's running right at 14.7, four, well, 14.3, 4.7, there we go. It's pretty close. All right, guys, Tristan ended the recording for some reason. But, Whoopsie! Uh, we've been uh, cruising around, and it's been staying very, very consistently. Like, look at that. It's straight at 14.6, 14.7. It's literally not wavering at all. Like, the tune is, like, so spot on. It is. We just don't know what it is in the higher rpms but i mean that's what the tuning will be for well you, like, gave, yeah, it some, you, gave, you gave it some gas and it went to 11.7 i that's think true. it was like went to 11.5 something like that which is where it should be when you're giving it gas like i mean not like normal cruising gas but like giving it some some beans i love the fact that i don't even have to shift this thing into first it's so responsive now that with the gearing it, it's it it's so right we need to take it to the track we do need to take it to a track Holy fuck, it's like a fucking sauna in here now. Yeah, we, we closed the, We closed the windows for this video, guys. It's really hot that. today. The only problem I'm having with the Bonneville now is that I'm seeing the three lights, the, the traction control, the anti-lock, and the brake light, and that means ABS, but uh, it did this before, and I bought a new ABS module, so I just have that in spare parts, so I'm going to try that and see if it fixes it. Nice. And if it doesn't, well figure it out yeah it could be the body control also, module being a bitch also like to mention this is probably totally fine to drive to work like afr is perfectly fine your oil pressure is good like it's driving you haven't taken it on the highway yet but uh i'm sure it'll be just as you know safe there yeah i just uh 
I want to hook up the boost gauge and see where that that fucker actually is is yep. going at. And we'll do that next. If I wasn't breaking in this engine still, that person wanted to go. How many miles are on it? So I think I've I think I've got like uh, 13 miles on it. Okay. Well, that's probably fine. Give it all the gas. <laughs> Give it all them beans. All right, guys. So well, we're gonna continue driving. We're actually going to get some chicky sandwiches. So we'll be back. Like always. Like always. They're having us pull over because our chicky sandwiches. We'll take a bit right there. It's fine. It ain't even. We usually get uh, Popeye's chicken, but now we're getting some Carl's. They got a new sandwich. We'll see how they do. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, now that the Bonneville is dri driving good, it needs needs like a lot for sure. Yeah, it does need a lot. It really does. Again, guys, we're going to make or get some hopefully off the shelf springs that we can use to uh, lower the car. We're looking at like the spring dimension, seeing if there's another com compatible car. Right now our leads are like a Chrysler, like a early, late 1990s, early 2000s Chrysler 300M and for the fronts and the rears, I think it was like a, actually 94 Grand Am. So anyways, we're looking at that. And then we're also going to be doing GXP V8 brakes, the rest of the gauge pods, fixing the headliner. And uh, what else are we gonna be doing to it really? Um, we're gonna put the strut bar in, mm -hmm. we're going to paint it, put it in, we're going to probably replace the, the rear brake calipers too. Doing? I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I don't, I no, I don't blame you. Um, I'm <laughs> probably going to, it doesn't matter where you park. Oh. No, it doesn't. Uh, I get, but anyways, yeah, so um, I'm probably going to get some uh, some new uh, rear calipers that I can buy from Rock Auto powder coated. You just can't buy the V8 ones powder coated. So I might as well buy those. Um, so we don't paint them, so we don't have to paint them and, and all that and uh, might as well buy new if I'm buying new front brakes Might as well buy new rear ones and new brake lines and that strut tower bar And then hopefully we'll we'll get some um, some solid sway bars for this thing eventually the Yeah, guy I buy Bonneville parts. I like he sold me them But then realized he didn't have them and so he's refunded me my money So I'm gonna see if I can buy them from him and then besides that don't really know what else um, Take we'll, it to the track yeah, and then the rest of the pods and obviously the gauges and, and then I'm just gonna drive it I think. Yep. Awesome. Well, it'll be nice. Finally. <sighs> finally to Bonneville. Fi yeah, I know. Like finally we'll, we'll, we'll be able to have some, some fun soon. Both of our cars are alive again. It's kind of nice. Say well, that one more time. Wanna be alive. Say, that, say it again though. What? About the Bonneville's live, Trans Am's live. Bonneville's piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, all the car like it's it's the first time in so long that all our cars are like up and running at the same time. Like the Trans Am was down for longest time, the Bonneville's down for longer. We'll be able to take it to the track again. It'll be awesome. I'm back. So we got chicken around. acquired. Chicken acquired. I want the crispy chicken. No, even crispy even chicken. I want the crispy chicken. All right, guys, we're back from the drive. Yeah, the AFR gauge was awesome. We actually got to see how the car is running. It's running super good just with the first tune that Garner gave us. So uh, now that he has that, we get out of here. Need to wire it up for uh, to run to the serial port yep. on the uh, the HP tuners to actually do data logs. But uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be next week because I'm gonna order them. Try and order them tonight if I can. And then uh, we just wanted to show off the the gauges again. Like damn, this one is the same style as the. Uh, AFR, this is the boost gauge. It's just gonna be so freaking nice. Yeah. The intercooler is digital though. Yep. And then just uh Tristan, you forgot this one. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> that's okay. fine. It was like wedged in there. I'm like, that's fine. So come over here, Davis. So we'll just show you how, how we got it wired up right now. So yeah. let's just sit in there. There's the, the gauge and it has those two wires out the back. That's gonna be for the serial connection but uh, it has one wire coming down here into, this includes a controller. It has power that's going to the back. It has one going into the controller and then it has one that goes to the sensor. This one is just for the analog connection. So if we did want to set up HP tuners with analog, which I guess you have to pay more for that, you can. Um, then ground right here. And then in the back, we have- uh, Which fuse did we, uh, did we use? I didn't actually check which this one is. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, this is not the right one. Did you f switch the caps on the front? 
No, because that's not the right fuse button. That's gotta be the right fuse box. Is it? It doesn't. It's not the right one. Oh, it's flipped. It's like this. Yeah, yeah, it is flipped. I was reading it backwards oh. this entire time. I was reading it. <laughs> I was reading it like this oh. when it's like that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if that's the case, then we have. Uh, let's see. Eight. Whatever eight is, we have the SIR. I don't know what that is. Uh, we could use the, the fuel pump relay, which is right there, but this one provided, it was 15 amp, which we had 15 amp fuses and provides key on power instead of all the time power. And uh, obviously we have tons of excess wire. We're just gonna leave for now, but clean up later. Yeah, so you guys probably won't see this again, but it's basically all gonna run under here. And then the box is probably gonna be tucked away behind the pedal somewhere and then the rest of the wiring yeah. as well. Just somewhere easy to reach. Just under the carpet, hopefully. Yep. You won't even see it. So, and uh, next week, hopefully, we have the um, the gauge pod. You know, the actual right. Yeah, one you got the can, sixty mil and the fifty-two. Fifty-two mil, and uh, we need that. Uh, maybe some different paint if you bring it over. And uh, the other gauges we can also install next week. Yep, boost and, gauges should be really easy. IAT should be easy. And uh, I was also thinking my Mustang here. I actually have a fuse box I installed under there for all of them. You might just do that so you're not having a you know nice. a billion taps in that. That would that. be nice. If we get that in town or online. Online, by, yeah. By a week, then mm -hmm. that would be uh, optimal. Uh, yeah, because run a one wire to a fuse box and then th that fuse box to Provide, whatever yep. those accessories. It'd be way so easier. Way easier than doing this. Um, yeah, so it saves we'll you having to do like a bunch of different grounds and a bunch of different taps in there. Like there would just be one power wire, one ground, and a relay, and then the, the fuse block. Let's do that. And so, <clears throat> I, I think riding around with her, seeing the AFR, I think it's good. I think I might drive it to work. Me and Davis are probably going to try and recharge the AC unit tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. It's so hot. I'm, so, I don't know if you can see if I'm like sweating. Yeah, and, and I don't want to really drive in a car without AC right now because it's so brutal. And uh, yeah, so besides that, she's going to be a driver. She's yep. going to be excited. And uh, the AFR looks looks really good the whole time we were driving. I didn't drive it too crazy because, I mean, brand new engine, so don't do that. Um, fucker. Always got to fuck with something with this guy. Oh, yeah. And anyways, that's about, that's about it. We're just, we just need to get inside under some AC yeah. is what we need. And, uh, yeah, so you Go guys... Ahead, purchase some Pro Sport gauges, use code Jury Rig for 10% oh, yeah. off of that. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it. If you want to see actual legit install videos on these guys, I have a, you know, huge, like, playlist series of all those. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Leave a super thanks. Check out our Patreon. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.